Jesus, Lord, condemned, defiled, may we to be meek and mild as we tread your holy Welcome to our Stations of the Cross, a traditional Lenten devotion. During this time, we recall those very sacred moments, the last moments of Jesus' life here on earth. And all these sacred moments remind us of God's great love for each and every one of us. So for our devotion, we will begin with the opening prayer. And then I will go to the first station, second, so forth, all the way to the 14th station. At the end of the 14th station devotion, I will come back here to the center and have a very short reflection and then a final blessing. Those of you watching at home can participate by looking at the words that will appear on your screen. So let us then begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Jesus came with his disciples to a country place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, sit down here while I go over yonder and pray. Then he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be saddened and exceedingly troubled. He said to them, My soul is sad even unto death. Wait here and watch with me. He went forward a little, and falling prostrate, he prayed, saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Almighty and eternal, eternal Father, Father, accept, Father, accept, accept our, our prayer of thanksgiving for your, for your beloved Son, Son our, our Savior, Savior and Lord. As we recall his sacred passion, send the Spirit of Christ into our hearts, we beg you, beg you, so that whether we pray or work, we might do all in union with Christ our Redeemer. Amen. May we First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again the high priest began to ask him and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus said to him, I am. And you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as liable to death. Together, the, the kings, kings of the earth rise, rise up, up, and the princes, princes conspire together, together against, against the Lord and against his anointed. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. Let us pray. All powerful and eternal God, for proclaiming the truth, your Son, Jesus Christ, is condemned to death by crucifixion. Stir up your love in our hearts, so that we might be ever faithful to all that you have told us, and fear nothing more than the loss of your friendship through sin. Amen. Amen. Second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. 
Then he handed him over to them to be crucified, and so they took Jesus and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. Together, who would believe, believe what we have heard? heard. To, to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? revealed? He, he grew, grew up, up like a sapling before, before him, like a shoot from the parched earth. There was in him no stately bearing to make us look at him, no appearance that would attract us to him. He was rejected and avoided by men, a man of suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those from whom men turn away, and we held him in no esteem. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your son Jesus Christ still carries his cross and his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. Make us feel the needs of all persons so that we might as readily help them as we would help Jesus himself. Amen. Amen. station Jesus falls the first time we adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world if the world hates you know that it has hated me before you if you were of the world the world would love what is its own because you are not of the world but I have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hates you remember the word that I have spoken to you no servant is greater than his master if they have persecuted me they will persecute you also. Together, why are your clothes red and your garments like those of the wine presser? The wine press I have trodden alone, and of my people there was no one with me. I trod them in my anger and trampled them down in my wrath. Their blood spurted on my garments, and I stained all my clothes. I looked about, but there was no one to help. I was appalled that there was no one to lend support, so my own arm brought about the victory. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, to free us from sin and weakness, your Son Jesus Christ embraced his fearful passion and crucifixion. Strengthen us in our baptismal resolutions by which we renounce sin and Satan, so that through the passion of this life's sufferings, we might rise to a new life of joyful service, free of all selfishness. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now there were standing by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary of Cleophas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Together, to what, so what can, can I compare you, O daughter, daughter of Jerusalem? Jerusalem? What, what example can I show you for your comfort, comfort virgin daughter Zion? For great as the sea is your distress, who can heal you? Let us pray. O blessed Lord, at your passion a sword of sorrow pierced the loving heart of your mother, as Simeon had foretold. Grant that we who look back on her sorrows with compassion might receive the healing fruits of your sufferings. Amen. Amen. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. And when they had mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off and put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to be crucified. Then they forced a certain passerby, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country, 
to take up his cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, a name meaning the place of the skull. Together, with, with a loud voice, I cry out to the Lord. With a loud voice, I beseech the Lord. My complaint I pour out before him. Before him I lay bare my distress. When my spirit is faint within me, you know my path. In the way along which I walk, they have hid a trap for me. I look to the right to see, but there is no one who pays me heed. I have lost all means of escape. There is no one who cares for my life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to see in the sufferings and shortcomings of our lives a share in your cross. Strengthen and console us in the belief that we bear all things in union with you, who have taken upon yourself even our guilt. Amen. Amen. sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And answering, the king will say to them, Amen, I say to you, as long as you did it for one of these, the least of my brethren, you did it for me. Together, a faithful, a faithful friend, friend is a sturdy shelter. He who finds one finds a treasure. treasure. A, faithful a faithful friend is beyond price. price. No, no sum can balance his worth. worth. A, faithful a faithful friend is a life-saving life remedy, remedy, such as he who fears God finds. For he who fears God behaves accordingly, and his friend will be like himself. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we feel your love and understanding and the consolation and support we receive from one another. Give us, we beg you, the courage and dedication to sacrifice and suffer with those who are in need, the least of your people. Amen. Amen. Seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was our weaknesses that he carried, our sufferings that he endured, while we thought of him as stricken, as one struck by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the punishment that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way, but the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Together, though, though he, he was, was harshly, harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth. Like, like a, a lamb, lamb led to the slaughter, or a sheep, sheep before the shears, shears. He, he was silent and uttered no cry. cry. When, when he, he was, was cut off from, from the land of the living, and, and smitten for the sin of his people, people a grave, a grave was, was assigned to him among the wicked, wicked and a burial place with evildoers, evil though he had he done, had no, done wrong, no wrong, nor spoken any falsehood. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you shared in our weaknesses and accepted our guilt. Grant us the favor of rejoicing over our human weaknesses, so that in all we do, your strength dwelling in us may be shown to all others. Amen. Amen. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
There was following Jesus a great crowd of people, and among them were some women who were bewailing and lamenting him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Together, come, come all, all you who pass, pass by the way. way. Look, Look and see whether, whether there is any suffering, suffering like, like my suffering. Suffering, suffering with, with which the Lord has afflicted, afflicted me on the day, day of his blazing wrath. At this I weep, my eyes run, run with tears. Far from me are all who could console me. Far away are any who might, might revive me. me. Let us pray. Beloved Jesus, with tears of pity, these women of Jerusalem responded to you, broken, bruised, and beaten, on the road to Calvary. Deepen our faith, we beg you, so that we may see you and our brothers and sisters, bruised by our envy, beaten down by injustice, and broken by our greed and our indifference. Amen. 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 Ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I lie prostrate in the dust. Give me life according to your word. I declared my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. My soul weeps for sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Together. The Lord, the Lord is my light and my salvation. salvation. Whom should, should I fear? fear? The Lord, Lord is my is life's my refuge. refuge. Of whom of should, should I be afraid? afraid? When, when evildoers evil come at me to me devour, to my, devour flesh, my flesh, my, my foes and my enemies, enemies themselves stumble and fall. And fall. Though an army camp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you permitted your son to be weakened, crushed, and profaned so that he might rise from the dead, freed from the ravages of sin. Help us to accept our weaknesses and failings as forerunners of our glorious resurrection in union with your son. Amen. Amen. Tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then after they had crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots, to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. They divided my clothes among them, and upon my garments they cast lots. Together, Happy is the man whom God chastises. Do not reject the punishment of the Almighty. For he wounds, but he binds up. He smites, but his hands give healing. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for comforters, and I find none. Rather they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, stripped of everything, you stood exposed to the jeers and contempt of the people whom you loved. Clothe us with genuine love of others so that nothing we suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness. Amen. Amen. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to Golgotha, the place called the Skull, they crucified Jesus and the robbers, one on his right and other on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, 
for they do not know what they are doing. Together, my God, my God, my God why, why have, have you forsaken me? me? Far, far from my prayer, prayer far from, from the words of my cry. cry. Oh my God, I cry, I cry out by day, and you answer not. not. I cry out by night, and there is no relief for me. All my bones are wrecked. My heart has become like wax, melting away within my chest. My throat is dried up like big clay. My tongue cleaves to my jaws. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Let us pray. Lord and Savior, you have told us that we too must accept crucifixion if we are to accept resurrection with you. Help us to rejoice in the sufferings that come with the fulfillment of our daily duties, seeing in them the royal road of the cross to the resurrection. Amen. Amen. station Jesus dies on the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise you because, because by your holy, holy cross you have redeemed the world. the world it was now about the sixth hour and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour and the Sun was darkened and the curtain of the temple was torn in the middle Jesus cried out with a loud voice and said it is finished father into your hands I commend my spirit Then, bowing his head he died Together, my, my people, people, what, what have, have I done, done to you, or, or what, what have I offended I you? you? Answer, Answer me. me. What, what more should I have done, done and did, did not do? do. I, I led, led you out, out of the land of Egypt, Egypt and you prepared a cross for me. me. I opened the Red Sea before you, you and you opened my side with the lance. I gave you a royal scepter, and you have given me a crown of thorns. With great power, I lifted you up, and you have hung me upon a cross. My people, what have I done to you, or in what have I offended you? Answer me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us, us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Stop and strip in Thirteenth station, the body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so that they did not break his legs. But one of them opened his side with a lance, and immediately there came out blood and water. Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one for fear of the Jews, he sought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave permission. Together, O oh, my, my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them. And I will bring you back to your land, that you shall know that I am the Lord. O oh, my people, I will put my spirit in you, that you may live. You shall know that then I am the Lord. I have, I have promised it, and I will, and do, I will it, do it, says the Lord. Let us pray. Beloved Savior, you return to the Father all that he had given you, so that he might restore all to you a hundredfold in the glorious resurrection. Help us, we beg you, to give generously of ourselves and all that we do for you, so that, like you, we might be made perfect in a new resurrection. Amen. Amen. The 
14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus and wrapping it in a clean linen cloth, he laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of rock. Then he rolled a large stone against the entrance of the tomb and departed. Together, I will praise you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. O Lord, you brought me up from the lower world. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, his good will is for a lifetime. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with dawn comes rejoicing. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, on the edge of sadness when all seemed lost, you restore to us the Savior we thought defeated and conquered. Help us, we beg you, so to empty ourselves of self-concern that we might see your hand in every failure and your victory in every defeat. These things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 short reflection here. As you may know, a number of the stations of the cross went up and down over the centuries. And finally, it was determined that 14 would be the number. But whether it's five stations or 10 stations or 20 stations, it really doesn't matter because when we look at the whole picture, we see love. We see sacrifice. We see forgiveness. We see all good things. Now, sometimes when we look at all of that, we see suffering, maybe nothing else. But it's only when you look at the suffering up close that you really see that there is love. Jesus would not go through all the suffering unless he had love for all of us. Not just for the people who were there, 2,000 years ago, but every human being who's ever lived. Jesus loves everyone. Jesus wants everyone to be saved. So the Stations of the Cross, really, this devotion is all about love. And you might know this also, a little piece of history, that originally, in the early days of Christianity, when most of the believers lived in or near Jerusalem, that people would continue the devotion of following Jesus, those last moments of his life, those steps leading up to the cross, and they would walk the path and have different prayers and devotions and so forth. But as the church grew and people began to be baptized in places far away from Jerusalem, and it was difficult to get there, they decided to just stay where they lived and retrace those steps either in their own churches or in the area of the land where they lived. And they could do the same thing that the people in Jerusalem were doing. And so that's what we do here today. We have our 14 stations in the back wall there. And we too, whether we're here or in Jerusalem, we think back on those moments of Jesus' life. Again, all the suffering, all the pain, all the dejection, but all done with love. Without love, none of it makes any sense. So as we go through our Lenten journey, we may want to think about Jesus' love for us. We probably think about that all the time, but particularly during the season of Lent, we want to reflect upon this great love and the suffering that was done because of Jesus' love for us. And ask ourselves, what do I do with that love? 
Do I allow it to come into my life? Do I allow it to change me? Do I allow it to transform me to be the kind of person that Jesus created me to be? Maybe that can be one of our goals during our Lenten season, to allow Jesus to come in and make the changes that need to be made. And then we too can go out into the world, as Jesus did, and preach good news, preach love, preach forgiveness, preach understanding, preach healing. Those are all part of Jesus' own ministry, and as he calls us to himself and then sends us out after giving us these wonderful gifts of grace, then he says, now you go out and do the same thing. Share with others what I have given you, he says to us. May our Lenten journey be one of faith, of forgiveness, of healing, and of peace. It is my prayer for all of you that you too will have a very good spiritual Lent. It's only 40 days. Sometimes it seems much longer than that. Other times we say, where did it go? It goes by so quickly. But in any case, it's a gift to us. The church gives us the gift of the season so that we can take some time to look within ourselves and ask, am I able to accept all this great love that Jesus has for me? Because he's always there. He's always offering it to each and every one of us. And now we will end with the blessing. Dear Lord, I bless, I ask that you bless all those people who are participating and watching these Stations of the Cross today. Help them to know how much you love them. May their Lenten journey be one of faith, of hope, of love, of forgiveness, of healing, of strength, of all the good things that you give to us. Help us to accept these gifts with gratitude, to take them in, to make them a part of our own lives, and to share them with all of our brothers and sisters. So please bless us today, Lord, and every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in peace. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.